What's going on everyone? My name is Pablo Geraldo. I'm an assistant tech manager with The Walsh Group and these are the five things I can't live without on the job site. My DJI Mavic drone, this I've had for approximately two years. Uh, it's probably one of the best investments that I've made. Uh, this is what I take uh, at least once a week to the job site. We have a different uh, drone at the job site. It's pretty massive, but my personal Mavic 2, that's what I carry. My PPE, which is my latest hard hat and my face covering. Every time I walk out of the job site trailer, I have to wear my hard hat, which is a cask hard hat. Uh, I think this hard hat is pretty cool. I won't have to carry around any safety glasses. I just wear my shield. Eventually, everyone's going to end up using these kind of hard hats because it uh, straps around your chin, so it does not fall. And then the other thing that I that I'm always wearing in the job site trailer is my face covering to make sure we are compliant with COVID-19 protocols. My camera. I have several cameras, but this is the latest one that I've had. This is the Sony A7 III. The reason for the camera, I'm pretty big on construction content. So posting on my construction Instagram and on LinkedIn. Every time I walk the job site, I'm always taking photos uh, of different people or of different activities or, or of anything that's happening on the job site. Premiere Pro uh, is the editing software that I use to edit all my videos, grab the footage coming out of the camera, and then download it to Premiere Pro. That's where I clip and, and chop up all the videos and then render them and then post them on my social media. My Bluebeam dashboard, I built it uh, when I first got to this job site. I normally build one for every job site that I go to and it saves me so much time. It is the first thing that I open up. I actually have a shortcut uh, that every time I, I turn on my computer, the Bluebeam dashboard opens up and then I just click around and start going to the different documents I need. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys like my five things that I cannot live without and I will see you guys on the next one.